Good to see Hal's actually putting in some warm-up time. Today. Yeah. I did point out too. Where my windows will use that. Yeah, I saw your name before when you said hide in, hide in crate yeah. or whatever. Because <laughs> I was gonna do it, you know it. Like I, I play him in one. Like, no, 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 he, he was he was leading when I when I typed it. Ah, oh, yeah. okay. He he was up three 0 but then you, uh, no, maybe four 0 and then. Yeah, then I looked was... away for two seconds, and then all of a sudden it was 3-3. Three, three. So you, you yeah, thought up three, writes... and he'd gone down one. <laughs> he writes pretty good A, and I'm like, I haven't pushed, you have, you've, you've hogged both Megas, I'm just biding my time, and it's only a matter of seconds before you fuck it up. <laughs> yeah. Um, alright. He just doesn't, he doesn't get any better at DM2, unfortunately, but... He, he doesn't put anything that, that he's told me in, in the practice, and I'm trying to like play him a lot on it so he can get better at it, but he just doesn't change. So he's learnt the other maps. So Steve, Steve asked me, oh, I'll just turn the auto on. Uh, he, he asked me, he goes, it's just going to be another case of them um, um, picking DM2, DM4, and then me picking Bravado and um, Spine, and I said, yeah, and he's been practicing Bravado and Spine. And I said, probably you should throw a curveball of uh, Lost World. Because I don't think, oh, yeah. I don't think Hull, has, uh, Hull has been practicing that. And it might, might uh, if, if that was to happen, it might mean that we get like a, a nail biter final map. But it's going to be very interesting if he can um, uh, on uh, still win those uh, two maps he's been winning against everyone against Hal. Yeah, well, Hal just played Yeti on Vado then. Yeti won it pretty comfy. Um, yeah, I, th I, th I think Hal's best chance is to grab that opportunity where he can just... Hold. Look, it's really hard to deprive the opponent of a lightning gun in Bravado because of where it where it is. You can sort of get one shot on him, but he's just going to have to have a good, a good start with an armor and, and not give it up. Hold, hold down to 7 HP there. Oh. Still on it. Yep. Power of the boomstick. Oh. <laughs> Got. He's playing Dame 4 a lot better, Stage. Yeah, it's a pity he hasn't kept, uh, kept on with it, because, um... You know, the DM maps do take a lot, a lot longer to get better at than the, uh, than the other maps. Yeah, there's, there's a real art to the DM. All three of the main DM maps, there's a real art to them. One health for house on there. Yeah. You can see there the benefit of um, not using the shotgun script. Why's that? Well, didn't he just die and then get his get a grenade launcher? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I thought you were talking about the kill, the shotgun kill before. It. Yeah, nah. So, I, yeah, I still have shotgun script because I'm just so used to playing like like with pressing a button which changes my left my right mouse button. But um, no. it costs me in duels sometimes. Yeah, in I, I just got in there. The habit of in team play and even in duel, if I don't want them to have my pack, I just switch the shotgun for my last shot. Yeah. Just so that there's um they don't get it. If the nerf they don't get it. The old school way of doing it. Four. Four HP.
see Carl getting that higher position there. Makes it a lot easier. And Steve uh, had the wrong, wrong weapon out as well. If he had to take it to an LG battle, he probably would have... Uh... Carl looks a lot more in the groove of things on DM4. So he only started putting some effort into Spine and uh, Bravado today. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see if it's enough to beat Stage. Stage has get, gotten really good at those maps. Now, Spine's, Spine's the one you can um, you can you can learn pretty quickly if yeah. you because because you can roll around you can roll around a dual map and just go with go with the motion and sort of play it without intent. For years and not get any better at a map, but once you sort of go, okay, these are the areas to focus on, and learning where those teleporters spawn in spine is is probably the biggest thing, and that that rocket jump from the rocket launcher up to the mega, they're probably the two plays that I see in close games. Um, you know, sneaking out Italian, shooting a quick shot, and um, that rocket jump up to the mega, they're probably the two things that. That I see when done at the right times, they can win a spine or lose a spine. Nice oh, boss stage. He's got such a calm lightning gun, doesn't he? Yeah, that low sensitivity. I don't know anyone who uses sensitivity as low as that. Quite well. Well, he's, I'm pretty sure Steve is 38 yeah. centimetres for a 360, which, which, I tell you, he must have, he must have strong biceps. That's the classic dirt box triple jump there. Oh, I missed it. I was uh, ripped. So from GA to nail gun to quad ledge, um, to the, what do you call that? Like quad, the ledge? Quad stairs, I guess. Yep. So GA to quad stairs to LG. <laughs> just when they're at mega, the three, bang, bang, bang. Yeah, just impossible to hit if, uh, if you do that. up and jumping onto the quad set. Oh, does it muck around with the short gun scripts? Going for a going for a discharge here. The, um, <laughs> he just goes straight for the axe. He's he's always he's always used the axe. I remember people used to complain about it. Because uh, they're not used to seeing people with their axe out. And so they, they get put off. I guess, well, I think everyone. Oh, that's, that's very weird. It's not public nudity. No. It's Quake World nudity. Oh, shot. So what are you going to do with yourself each night once that dual manning is over? Um, well I think Emily will be happy. She'll, um, she'll get some of my time. Play two on twos with Harl, go... Uh, it's good that that's a round robin format, because that gives us the next little chunk to look over. Look forward to, sorry. But... I just hope Muncher puts in some, uh, Muncher puts in some time. Oh, uh, yep. 
I think you got to run a follow-up dual mania, best of three, DM2, DM4, DM6. Oh, you might that... only get half the players. Yeah, that's right. But that, that would be the only maps if it was up to me, that's for sure. This map was going to be a blowout, but um, I'm kind of looking forward to see um, Spine and Bravado. I actually thought Harley knew Spine, but he's telling me he doesn't he barely have played it until because he was at the I Star Zone land in Sydney where it was used in the tournament. That could be our highest DM4 score in the tournament. Spine or Bravado? Spine V2. The fucking audio is out again. I don't know why that is. Blade. Yeah. It's only ever started happening since the sort of RTX audio. Most of the time it's fine, but uh. One hell of a speech there. Mega. No LG. Nice rockets though. Early five frag lead. Any time. I like in spine <clears throat> when you you know, trying to protect the RA. You've got three spots you've got to, you've got to flick to. Well, Steve might have gone for yellow then. That was for sure. That's that's Hal's one of Hal's strong points. He calls them chip rockets. Just when he realises his stacks way down on the other guy, just slowing it down a bit, just chipping away at at their health and armour, and then trying to gain control. 
So Stage didn't delay the Mega. That was clever by Hal then. Really quiet around the map. And uh, so the Mega and, he'll get... mega and the Red are going to spawn at the same time. Oh. Great play by Hal. Wow, the damage is done there. Yeah. Now he's got to get that yellow. Stage was all over it. Still a five frag deficit. Oh wow! Yeah, what a red, nice. what a red steal! Thing with the air, the air, um, all the physics of Quake World. Twice Hal's sort of got Stage, and then Stage has, with sort of not a very big stack, sort of pinned him. Yeah, Hull was uh, not wise to be standing in the corner like that. Yep, so Hull should get red now. Oh, he's left. Oh, wow. He's protected her well. Look at that. It's like bait for a fish, isn't it? <laughs> he, stops, he stops shooting for one second. Look at the look at that lightning gun damage then. Wow. I managed to turn that around. Well, we really, three times. We really had no right to get that uh that kill either. So we're still at five frag difference. Six frags. Clever clever use of splash there by um by Hal. Oh, 17 now. Oh, we'll pass the halfway mark. Oh, nice. Look at that. And there's that rocket jump I was talking about earlier. Probably getting to the point where it's um, going to be hard to pull back. Oh, nice. Well, he's pulled back a couple though. It's three. Yeah, that was good to retreat there. To my Steve's the LG. Top up his health. But he really should be pushing Mega. <laughs> Hit the wound. Ah. And he should be able to get back to the RA. Oh, wow. That, that just shows you the shaft, doesn't it? <laughs> It's not like Hal can't aim, Hal has got a very good shaft as well. But, uh, Siege. Siege is definitely stronger. Three minutes left. KF made a comment on one of the other games. It was, how tilting is Halsom's hee hee. <laughs>
<laughs> He's had that bind since the 90s. It must be very close to his other keys. Because mid-battle, if, if he gets a rocket in your head... <laughs> yeah, like, my, my, he my he 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 button is, like, literally next to my right strap. Yeah. And so, uh... Ooh. Carl's got to really go on the attack now. Oh, shot. Oh, great shot! <laughs> that was a... <laughs> that shot. That's really good. Deej just... Can... Happy with his lead here, I think he'll just slow it down a little bit, not push too much. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I'll drop his mouth then. Yeah, it looks like it. know the definition of push, that was it there. When rockets are coming at you and you just sort of get a bit of acceleration and move forward. Super dodging. Yeah. Whilst there's a big splash in Quake World, the speed of the rockets and the speed of the player can can make for a really, really good game of millimeters where you, you avoid any splash and you can you can attack someone who's throwing rockets in your face. So I dare say we'll get a Harlson will pick DM2 and we may not see the full map. We'll see. I'm just going to turn RTX audio off. Wonder if that fixes the delay. Gym six. There you go. <laughs> I think of the three DM maps, this is probably the one Stage could um, get good at quicker than the others. And he didn't put any time into it at all. Carly's baiting him into the LG. It worked. But he didn't get an armor, so he's kind of fucked himself a bit there. It would have been perfect if Carl had a lightning gun. Oh sorry, I had an armor, because he would have been able to hang around for that fight. Stage just leave seemingly leaving the red there as a bit of bait. Alright, identical stacks potentially, but I'd give Hull the advantage here. Wow. What uh what does Stage have fifty health? Nah, he had less than that. Yeah, well done, Hal. It's probably wise of him picking, uh, picking the game six because he just had to play every single person who's picked game two against him so far. He's, he has the potential of uh, learning it. Um, and, uh,. The more he plays the map, the more of a threat he's becoming. And so, so in Quake Champions, what's Stage's advantage? So, well, he, he won the last big tournament. It was a $10,000 tournament late last year. And um, So, is it his rocket predict? Is it his, like, lightning gun? How does the Quake Champions weapon balance play out? Well, that's the thing. Like, every weapon in Quake Champions is a viable weapon. Not like just mm -hmm. the top main few. This. 
And so even 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 Gauntlet has its place. You know, when you can do 75 damage to someone, you know, if you know that they're chasing you through a teleporter, you stand there with the Gauntlet out, and it's no damage to you and instant 75 to them. Yeah, well. Uh, so it's a shame that uh, the axe is not um, more powerful than this, to be honest, because we'd probably get it a lot more. Get it used a lot more. But in so Quake World, it only does is 10 damage, and you need to time the swing as well. So is the lightning gun Steve, where Steve is just exceptional in Quake Champions as well? Or? No, well, he's... he's, he's uh, it's, it's not not just uh, about that, you know. You have to, yeah. you have to time the items um, mm -hmm. in, in Quake Champions. Like, in this, you can... Many maps, you can get away with not timing a single item. But yeah. you, you have to time every single item. In both Quake Live and Quake Champions, it's uh, timing the items is essentially everything because... You can't just get, a, get the first rocket in like Quake World and bounce them around and pump them up. You know, you're going to take the damage um, in every fight. And you really need to go into every battle with a, a bit of stack advantage. So you need to be there contesting the items every 30 seconds when they come around. Tyrical's behaving himself today. The delayed stream. Let's not get too excited. <laughs> Armor spawned just before Hal went through that telly there. So he's sort of given up RA here. Oh, he just wanted to get that rocket slightly to the right then. Flashed him out. I always like the play on DM6 where what held did just then and you push them with the shaft back into the grenade that you spammed. Oh, oh almost died there. Here will be out. Is he taking? Oh, he's already up. There you go. Out of rockets now, Hal. Hold on. Free health. Hal's the stack is still pretty low. And he's got really not much ammo of either top. Winner of this will play a Syracle. Yep. If I'm correct, and then. Yep. So Harley can't play another game straight after this. Mm -hmm. He's going to be finished by eight. However, if Steve was to win, the Syracle said he'd play him straight after this. Syracle wants to extend it out for the fans. Growing number. 
You must have fixed your delay. What was that? Because Syracle's doing smiley faces whenever you mention his name. He has them pre typed ready. So in um in Quake Champions, the nail gun actually does self damage. Really? Yeah. And they, they did that because it's it's oh. essentially just the plasma plasma gun from um Quake Live and Quake Three. And mm -hmm. by doing self damage, you could get a kickback. And um, it's used for all creative jumps, and you could walk up walls and stuff with it. Like uh, so, there's not just rocket jumping. There's you know, a number of ways where you can gain height. Stages on the board. Well, he's got four kills, but a bit of, bit of self killing throughout that. I was playing um, Syracle the other day on Spine, and the scores were level with five seconds left, so I just rocket killed myself um, right at the end. And he, he didn't hear it or see it, and I said to Syracle, I said, I fell in the lava, bro. And he goes, legit? I said, yeah, didn't you know that there was lava on this map? He's like, nowhere. And I'm like, come come follow me, I'll show you. And I just kept circling laps around the map, and he kept following me. Oh. Yeah, this map would suit suit you to put some uh, put some time in. Definitely, you don't. And it's see with DM4, his sensitivity is probably too low. I'd like to you know, say this, but my assumption is that with sensitivity that low, DM6 is far easier to get good at. Whereas DM4, I mean, if you get on a roll in DM4 and to be good against the best, you've got to be, you know, rocket jump out of red, flick up the top, flick around the side, jump, flick, like, yeah. Yeah, he would, he would be used to it though. That's the thing, he, he would be... Yeah. So it's for us, we find a big uh, disadvantage when we lower our sensitivity because the, all those jumps are so much harder. But if you've never used high sensitivity, you're not really at that disadvantage. Yeah, yeah, true. Let's see if he does a Lost World curveball. Bravado. Bravado. Gonna stick with what he what's, stick with what's worked. Yeah. Unlike um, Profanum, he has. Essentially, given your advice, the finger. The thing is, he said he was going to pick that anyway, so that map selection is not on me. Oh. As I said the other day, damned if do, damned if don't. Now that we're back in contact, Marcus, I blame you for everything that's going wrong in my life. Not, not quite related. Yeah, I'd, I'd blame me too. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so I think Yeti was giving Hal a bit of a how-to on this earlier. Oh, that red arm spawned just in the nick of time. Anyone watching who has made textures before, any of you cool Euro people or whoever, make some textures for this map 
and for frantic please. And spawns are good. Yeah. Make some but, radical textures. I'm sure you could cross, you know. I'm sure it's just a matter of naming the texture model and. You know. Yeah, you can just. Cause you this can just is very much like Arrowwalk textures, so. You can just get any image and name it what their name in the map editor is. Mm. And, uh. Is it map specific? So yeah, you if can. I grabbed my new Aerowalk textures and just copied that folder to my QW textures and renamed it to Bravado. If if they are the same texture names, then yeah. Yeah. Then you yeah, okay, get... it's worth a shot. Might see a few weird anomalies, but Well, it's only if that texture exists will it change it, otherwise we'll just use the old one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's that hee bind. Well, just walk past the yellow. I'll ignore the yellow, yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Well, it's turned out to be good play in hindsight, hasn't it? Yeah. Cycled both the armors, now he's got to get a kill. That's the thing about the 20... The 20 second armor spawn in, in Quake World. On a map like this, if you get, get yellow, then get red, you've, um... Sort of got to make a decision to go right. So he knows that red's coming up again. And look at that. Doesn't have many cells. That was a good flash or chip rocket. Oh! Carlson with an early lead. Three minutes in. Yeah, that, that deficit is... Uh... That mega's up. Go get that mega hull. Retreat on the fight. Very good. Yep. Oh. So, yeah, I was just going to say, that lead is, is uh, one spawn kill away from being leveled. And uh, that's exactly what happened. Now Steege also has the stack advantage. So, so good under pressure. Like, his lightning gun is that good, and it's that good when... <laughs> oh. I thought he'd get a bit cheeky, and... Uh, Got a bit of momentum there, now, yeah. Steege. Take red. Full stack. Yeah, this... Hull's stuck in that... That's, that way that I get stuck on this. It's like, once you've given up with red and... Um, mega... Like, you go, what the fuck do I do? And you know, I just hover around the top and the middle and really know what to do. Nice. Good play. And uh, that Mega should be up any second there. Jesus. Proud Sausage, the, uh, the map scores are 2-1 to one in Halston's favour. And if Steege keeps his lead, this will make it 2-2. Two -two. Wow. That's some um, really good LG. It's a bit of a bitch, that teleporter jump over to the, the RA. If you, if you miss... You, you come off one of your, your strafe button or your forward button slightly and, and you fall short. So next mega health on a siege has it. I think Hal was ready for that. Alright, we're over halfway. Plenty of time. Steege just sort of waiting on that next mega. Bait is there. Worth a shot. <laughs> oh, 
ran out of cells and then landed on the, the cell pack that's right there. Ah, uh, is that what I... Stig's really needs to delay this uh, red, but it doesn't look like we have to. Is Stitch going for a rock jump there, or trying to hurt trying himself to, to get yellow? Alright, so Harl's going to want to get that red. Yeah, good item cycling by Siege. So that's the Quake Champions. Expertise coming out. He's got stage pretty low right now. Only for about three seconds. Yep. Yep, well done. Alright, let's see if Harl can mount a bit of a comeback here. Get red and then mega. Nice rocket. Oh, just, just didn't know the spawns well enough to quickly, oh, instinctively go to Just walk straight into a red and a mega. Yep. It's going to be very hard to come back from there. Mega health moved in this map. Say that again. I'd like to see the mega health moved. Yeah, on that, in this on that map. Pla platform in near yellow, uh, there's a version of this map uh, just where the they quad are is. Now. Yeah, and it's swap, swap. If yeah. you swap with that, because you can control this entire map just from that one side. Yeah, just that one you know, rower, and it's like it's 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 just stupid. And all they need to do is swap those two things. And then it would make um, quite an absolute clusterfuck in that corner to get a hold of. Just like, kind of like, like arrow. Yeah, exactly like arrow. And, um, and this map would be a lot better. And, and so, some servers even have this version. You type bravado hash dirtbox and it loads my version of it. Oh, hull down to four. I need some help. And will he go for that next mega? Well done. Cool yeah, go for that next mega hull. Go for the mega. Yeah. Ah. Two frags. Now get red. Now get red. Oh no! I oh, got him. Yeah. Yeah, get away. So Hull's got an opportunity oh. here. Oh, oh nice. That Stay was Siege. Hull really needed to get that uh that kill. Yeah. And stage again, mega. Yeah. Quite red's not up yet. That red's probably another five seconds away. Thirty seconds left. Red's up. You would, you would pencil stage down now for this. Yeah, which will bring it to One hull. two two to a tie. Uh, that was good. That was super impressive, um, given that Halsam hasn't really played the map and he's... He's, he's, he's started learning today. He started learning it today, just for this match. Ah. Uh. Yeah. I think we're going to see an aero... So what's left? Frantic. Uh, arrow, frantic. What the fuck else is there? Um, DM4? They play DM4. No, sorry, DM2. And one more. <laughs> what the fuck is it? Give me a look at the last scores. Uh, ZTN DM3. Oh, yeah, ZTN. That's expected. He 
he's gonna ban Frantic. He oh. Yeah, ZTN, because Stage is very good at ZTN. And I think we're gonna see Stage will ban Frantic. And no, I don't reckon. We will have an arrow. Maybe. It'll actually be a good arrow walk game between them. Um, arrow is a long time arrow walk aficionado. So th this, is def I think, is the map which will give us the closest game. Right, <laughs> oh, stage cool. And so Syracle, if Stage wins, is going to play immediately after. Not tomorrow, Syracle. Immediately. Immediately after. Yeah. Thank you for your cooperation. All Everyone in the world is watching Syracle. Yeah. Reload's actually come over, sitting on my couch at the moment, Syracle, and we're just talking about ways that he can um, help your, your game get to that next level. There you go. <laughs> but Halson doesn't have time to play another series tonight. So if Siege wins, we get another series. If Hal wins, we get a series tomorrow night. And uh, Yeti and I are playing for the win winner's bracket final on Thursday night. Hey. Am I gonna? Mm, but, I was gonna take Damilies and split it with her, but what? You're not eating. Do you want it? Yeah. No, then it's, yeah, then it's it. uh, the winner of you and your game versus the loser of me and Yeti. You've been working on your ZTN DM3, Marcus? Yeah, me too. <laughs> He can just, every, every, every tournament, he can just have that. But he can't have it all the time. I misinterpreted your, I don't need to then. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon that's the best spawn on arrow that I've got. Is that? Just right in front of that top rocket launcher. When you, like, because when they, when they get red, this you can sort of, Trap them. It gives you, gives you um mega and uh, yellow straight away. Uh, and your first shot, like if they if they spawn red and you get that that top spawn, you can get mega and yellow and immediately spam that that bottom RL, which is where most players will drop down and go. <clears throat> That takes some off, though. It's a little bit early with that rocket. Oh. I was in a bit of trouble here. Is he AFK then? A lot of it's smashing his keyboard. Dad life. So Stitch is really low. Oh, good rockets by Hal there. Yeah, Three of them. very low on ammo. <laughs> keeps uh, I'm just going to bring up a live weapon stat. Mega's up. Alright, so how might push you. Ooh. Oh just a bit no, low. Like one pixel too low. M pitch. 
think Hull has a bit of a higher pitch. Some players do. Oh. Mega. Well, it's a practice game to Halston today, and uh, there was a similar, a similar lead achieved. Um, and Hull was almost able to bring it all back. Stage's lightning gun percentage right now is 37.4. Hey? <laughs> we'll let Eggy we'll let Eggy yeah. <coughs> answer um all, answer. Oh, Corona. All, all questions must go through Eggy. Nice shot. Yeah, good use of splash there by Hal. Oh, that's that's experience play there. He's got a bit of momentum now as well. Yeah. He's brought back about four frags in about 30 seconds. And the next mega health spawn coming up shortly. Yeah, nice combo there. Mega will be up in a couple of seconds. There it is. Oh, down to one rocket, up to 11. Oh. Oh. Double KO, five frags the difference. And Steve's got the red spawn then. Oh. Nice shot. Still only five frags difference, which on this map is nothing. Got that red, red, the red rocket jumps worked out, Siege, didn't he? Yeah, he said the hardest thing about Quake World is the movement on the rocket jumps. And this little revival of Hal's stages, a lightning gun down to 30 from 37. And direct hits on rockets, you got Stage with five, Halston with seven. I'm trying to be the Bruce McAvaney of the Quake commentary here, reeling off stats. Unlucky spawn from hell. Nice. Oh, and look at the timing there of that red coming up as soon as he got fragged. Game of milliseconds, is it not? What does your red armor have to be on for you to be able to pick up the yellow mark? Well, it, it automatically calculates which is for that it's, it's, in, in the other quakes, from Quake 3 onwards, all armor does the same protection. It's just the number yep. value. And I think it's, it does two thirds damage protection. So if you get hit with 100, okay. you'll take 66 off your armor. No, but what I mean is Steege had 117 yeah. left of his red and he couldn't get the yellow. Yeah, so with Quake World, each armor also has a higher value and a higher damage protection. And so it works out which one is higher. So if you've got 80 green armor and you... Sorry, 80 yellow armor, it might not let you pick up a green armor because 80 yellow gives you more damage protection. Yeah. 
So it doesn't, health doesn't factor into it? No. So if I've got 117 red, I can't pick up the yellow. It's totally determined on how much of the red I've got left yeah. on whether or not I it, can pick up the yellow. It, it calculates uh, how much... Uh, which one's better, basically, automatically. So if you can pick it up... So, green, damage, absor damage absorption, 30%, yellow, 60%, red, 80%. Really? That, it's that hard? Yep. Yep. Shut it, Zirical. Tell them, Dirk. Oh, that is the shot of the game for me. Seem to get a uh, a roll going with these spawns. Circle, shut the fuck up. There you have it. So it looks like tomorrow is um, going to be Stage versus Serical. Yep. Bad luck to Halson there. He played uh, very well. We had quite a good series. So Halson won 60 to 17 on DM4. Stage won 26 to 13 on Spine. Halson won 17 to 3 on DM6. And then probably the closest game of the match on Bravado, Bravado. 19 to 15, Stage Way, and then 25 to 18 for Stage to take to take the series. Well, Stage said to me today, he doesn't know how he keeps winning, but it looks like he's even though that everybody has got a two map advantage on him, he seems to have a two map advantage on everyone else. Yeah, well, that's what the other maps bring bring into it, and um, the yeah, he's obviously FPS players can can adapt, but how well he has adapted from one quake to the other, his his item his item timing that he, he has learned from, because you know when I was playing Quake World, twelve years old, you know I knew nothing of, of item timing and, until I came back and and played it at thirty five, <laughs> but um. Yeah, coming coming in and with that sort of mindset has helped him. And, and a lot of the maps, you know, like guys like me and Harl and others, we, we just haven't put the time in. And credit to Steve, he's been able to come in and just focus on those maps. And I think that's that's smart. Um, yeah, well, he, he had... He knew, like, Airwalk and ZTN from other map, other quakes already. 
Uh, and he'd played, a, he said, a very little amount of Lost World before. So he had to learn six six maps, and he's putting the effort. And um, I don't think I saw him yeah. play, seen him play a Frantic, to be honest, but he put time into that one as well. I think he may have seen that before. I'm not sure. But... So, looking at this armour on the Quake World Wiki thing really interesting so green armor will take three tenths of your damage yellow will be three fifths of your damage and red four fifths of your of your of your armor sorry so essentially if you've got um a hundred green armor and you cop a rocket you lose um you lose 30 off your green somebody hits you with a rocket you've got 100 green 100 health you lose 30 off your green but a rocket rocket does 110 damage okay so if you lose you lose 30 off your armor and you would lose 70 well no 80 off your health you said 110 yeah yeah 110. so you'd lose 80 off so if you've got if you've just got a green armor and 100 health you'd lose 30 off your green, you'd be left with 20 health and 70 green armor. Yeah, other way, if you've other got way yellow, because it takes it takes one third or two thirds. Green takes 30 percent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, no. That that is right because if you've got 100 health, you don't have enough health with the green armor to last your entire green armor. Yep. So you need to replenish your health before you need to replenish your armor with the green. With all, all, That's right. all whereas, really. whereas red is 80. So if you've got a red armor, 100 health, you would lose 80% 80 of, of that shot would go towards the armor. The, the red would come off. Yeah. So, yeah. So you'd lose about 80 of your, your RA, but you'd only lose. So 20, so you'd lose like 24 health. So the moral of the story is red armor obsession. <laughs> All right, and I am off to Emily's. I'll speak to you tomorrow. All right, catch you later. Thanks for Ciao. casting. All right, who do I want to drop you guys on? These 30 second Twitch ads. Kicking ass. Dirt box, my man! How you going, brother? Also, I watched you hosting the Quake World uh, Dual Mania last night. I was a silent lurker, but I watched the, the, the Steve's and Murder games. It was good shit. Uh, on you for putting it on, man. Can we get some whiskeys for Dirt box?